Hey, everybody. My name is Adam Nathwani. I'm the COO of Drive Hockey Analytics. Uh, really grateful for the opportunity to speak today and share why it is that we are turning heads within the amateur ice hockey analytics space. So two years ago at this very conference, the National Hockey League won the Sloan Alpha Award for the best sports innovation. After the league invested tens of millions of dollars into deploying sensor-based player and puck tracking technology. And while this offered NHL clubs access to richer and more accurate information on their players and opponents on ice performance, which was then used for coaching strategy, scouting, and even player development, it also opened up all kinds of new growth possibilities for the league by incorporating this data into the areas of media and broadcasting, sports betting, and a slew of other fan applications. Unfortunately, unless you have an NHL level budget, bringing this type of capability into your league or team just isn't feasible. And that's because of the high cost and complexity to implement, meaning that most amateurs and even minor professional levels of the sport do not have access to this award-winning technology. That is until now. We at Drive Hockey have developed our own player and puck tracking system using sensors and AI, just like we see at the NHL level with the key difference being that we have specifically designed, built, and priced our product for the 120,000 competitive hockey teams below the NHL down to the grassroots. We have effectively replicated an NHL analytics department with a system that provides automated, objective, real-time player and team performance data with the focus on affordability and ease of use. The drive hockey system is based on a suite of sensors using ultra-wideband technology. We put sensors on the players, in their sticks, in the pucks, and around the ice rink as part of our portable smart arena system, which turns any ice rink into a smart arena in under 15 minutes. The system itself collects data at a rate of over 3,000 data points per second, which is then processed through artificial intelligence models and visualized to our online platform, where players and coaches can log in shortly after an ice time be it a game, a practice, a scrimmage, a combine, really any time that they're on the ice, to review their performance and see a detailed breakdown of their team's skill and use of skill across a variety of metrics related to athletics, gameplay, and tactics. And by the way, all of this costs less than the price of a new hockey stick on a per player basis. Initially, our focus is to use our data to help players and teams get better. But we also see downstream applications for our data as well across the hockey industry. For instance, for scouting, media and broadcasting, fan engagement, athlete health, and even sports betting, depending on the segment. And we see easy transition into related sports like field hockey and lacrosse, for which we get numerous inquiries. The total addressable market is 120,000 competitive teams. If we include those, those related sports I mentioned of field hockey and lacrosse, that number increases to 2 million teams worldwide. And we expect to reach 50,000 of them, which would bring in nearly 300 million in annual recurring revenue. We've accomplished a lot despite having a small team and limited resources. We launched an MVP version of our product with 2023 being our first full year in market and generated 300K in revenue. We're on pace this year to exceed 750K after seeing a 30X ROI on our lead generation activities. We have partnerships in place with notable youth, junior, and minor professional leagues, as well as other well-known hockey organizations. And we are now starting to work alongside some major players within the optical hockey analytics space, where we are integrating our sensor data with their video data. We've established a network of distribution partners across North America and into Asia, who are bringing our technology into key hockey markets. We've been featured in numerous sports media outlets for our impact on youth and amateur hockey development and recognized for several awards within the sports technology industry. We are led by a team of diverse individuals with over 150 collective years of experience in elite and pro hockey operations as high as the NHL. We've successfully scaled five previous startups, including in the sports data space. And we have worked with the likes of the NHL, CHL, NCAA, Hockey Canada, USHL, and many others. Our team is perfectly and uniquely fit for this market. 
And we are now looking for strategic partners to solidify our early position within the amateur hockey analytics space. And so we welcome any introductions, discussions, or partnerships that can help us accelerate our growth. Thank you very much. Again, I'm Adam Nathwani with Drive Hockey Analytics. Uh, please check out drivehockey.com for more information, and I'm happy to answer any questions you may have. The data that you're tracking, the sensor data, is the primary focus player safety? What, what's the goal? No, it's mainly player development. Uh, so we're, what we're doing is we're, we're tracking location data of the pucks and players and sticks at all times. And then we use that to identify different hockey events. So turnovers, zone entries, scoring chances, you name it. And then con congratulations on the, the revenue growth. That's something to be proud of. Um, the the client, the revenue model is the team um, purchases. Is it a platform? What, what, what is the model? It's uh, two prongs. So there's a hardware component and an annual data license. So the, the hardware being a one-time fee and then the data license is, is, of course, annual. And the hardware component is one P, is it by player on the puck? Like how many pieces is the We do it on a team basis. Uh, so right now what we've done is we've introduced the player tracking only. We haven't introduced the puck tracking or stick tracking yet. We're actually in the middle of a funding round to, to launch those projects. So a lot, of what, a lot of the data that we collect is athletics-based information. And so the teams are buying a, a set of sensors for the arena and for their, for their players. Have you found more success in selling to the team level or the, through the league level to teams? Or have you found any traction on like permanent setups and venues? And how are you thinking about Yeah, that's a great question. So our whole concept is we want to democratize pro-level analytics. So we, we're our, to find different ways to make the price point lower and lower. One of the ideas is to work directly with ice rink operators, which we've already started to do, where we're going to, the idea would be to introduce the technology right into the arenas and to therefore lower the barriers for the individual or users. And then we also see some, some additional value for the uh, arena operators themselves as an opportunity to offer new services or uh, upsell their existing ice bookings or, or whatever other services they're um, offering. Got it. And then another question is just, as you compare to the kind of NHL or pro level product, I know you talked about price point a little bit, are there technological trade-offs that you kind of are known and okay for this market, for example, like speed of data capture and um, visualization and, and the like? Yeah, so right now uh, we, don't op we don't offer um, real-time uh, data. We process the event after, after the fact. So that's one component of it. Again, part of, you know, part of our funding round is to get that real-time um, op option available. The other aspect is we don't collect data at nearly the same rate as the NHL. It's slightly lower. Uh, we find that at the younger levels, you don't necessarily need that level of richness. And so we've kind of taken that trade off um, in, into account. What do you think protects the business against some of those pro level competitors, it sounds like, coming downstream? Yeah, it's a good question. So most of the pro level competitors operate in multiple sports. They could quite easily go down market, and I, many of them are because that's really where the volume is. If they were to do that, because they operate in other sports, I would guess that hockey would be the last on their list. And if they did do that, they would have to significantly change their product design to get it to a price point that's appropriate for the, the segment of the market we're looking at. And how is your product design able to keep you at a lower cost basis versus them? We, we just do it a little bit differently. Um, again, we, we're kind of catered to usability. Um, in theory, they could go and take a similar approach to what we've done. Like I said, if I was them, I wouldn't. I would focus on the other sports where they tend to have a bigger market share. And then j just one more, which is a, the strategic partnerships or the idea of having a strategic partner, what would they bring, like, what, what kind of strategic partner are you looking for? So we're looking to work with generally leagues and, and bigger organizations that have access to the teams. We want to offer value to the leagues where not only are they providing value to their member clubs and their players for player development and player advancement opportunities, but we're also introducing new revenue streams for the leagues themselves. So it's been awesome for us that the NHL has had such great success and as unlocked all kinds of new revenue opportunities for themselves. 
and it's, it's enticing these lower leagues to want to get into those same markets. So we're really working hand in hand with them in entering the data economy. For any given game, um, obviously two teams competing, are you thinking about as one team kind of paying for the, the hardware and the license and kind of getting the insights? And are you measuring performance of both teams kind of comparatively, or is it more individual player performance for a single team? And how are you thinking about kind of the dynamics there? So our, the analytics is both on the player level and the team level. I'm not sure if that's answering your question. Yeah, I, that and I think just more on, if you, on the team level, um, obviously you're giving a set of insights to one of the teams. Is it, if you're working with a league, are you kind of providing wholesale insights across leagues? Yes. Can one team access another? Is like, how are you thinking about some of those? So the idea for us, because we want to work with leagues, we would, we would operate every team within that league. Um, in most cases, it's current practice now that leagues have, Teams within a league have access to the information for other teams as well. It's just kind of standard practice. Um, it's more, they more leverage their ability to use that information strategically. Going back to the strategic partner, have you thought about going to apparel companies? Like, because this could make, be a competitive advantage for them in the market. Not so much apparel companies. We've looked at equipment companies of integrating our tech right into the, the equipment, either the shoulder pads or the sticks or, or whatever else it might be. They're very interested in it. Um, we're still quite early for them. They're, a lot of them are kind of just keeping their finger on the pulse with us. Uh, the other area that they are really interested in is they like the concept to be able to make certain claims about their equipment. So for instance, that their skates make you skate 5% faster than their competitors or their sticks make you shoot X percent harder than their competitors. So they are looking for us in the interim to see how they can use our data to advance their business. And with the, Christina has some questions about the hardware. When, um, does the hardware, in equipment hardware, rely on having the in arena hardware as well, or can they operate separately? It requires the in arena. So that's what gets you the location data, which is really the, the crux of the value and the information, because that gives all the, situ the situational context around how fast you're going, therefore why are you going that fast. Got it. I'm curious, you mentioned field hockey and lacrosse as potential kind of next sports. Yep. Given what you just said about the location data, how would that work in an outside environment? Yes, that's a good question. Um, these are still areas that we have yet to explore. Um, it's just that we've getting, we're getting a lot of inquiries and questions from these types of groups that's making us think, hey, we better do something in these, in these arenas. Um, on the lacrosse side, we would probably more look at arena lacrosse or box lacrosse. In a lot of cases, um, especially in kind of youth and younger levels, ice rinks operate as lacrosse, um, lacrosse courts in the off season. So it's very easy for them to be interchangeable. When it comes to fields, we would have to do some modification to our technology to make it work in that, in the, in that environment. The last question for me is, as you think about kind of the, the bottom end of the hockey market and in cases where there aren't necessarily like analysts or folks that can interpret the data in as much detail, are you thinking about playing the role of kind of both data capture, data provider, and interpreter of sorts and visualizer, or how are you, where are you focusing your time in terms of building out the product? Yeah, it's a, it's a good question. It's, it's an opportunity that we're seeing as available to us. What we've done in the interim is presented a lot of information and resources to help coaches who maybe aren't as experienced in the world of analytics to interpret the data and then use that data effectively. We've also developed a, a network of service partners who are offering per event services, tracking services, who are not only setting up the arena and working with the teams, but also looking at the data and working with the team closely to, to pull out those nuggets of insights. Have you been working with the, uh, Hockey Canada or USA Hockey? I think I saw the brand. Yeah, we're starting. We've had a few discussions with them. They're, I would say they're still in kind of preliminary stages. Um, and those particular groups have had some issues with other vendors who have tried player and puck tracking in the past unsuccessfully. And so they're kind of waiting for us to prove the market a little bit more before they, uh, before they work with us in a more meaningful way. Okay. Great, thank you so much. Good job.